Does this look familiar? Sitting in gridlock traffic, rushing from work to appointments, going to be late for dinner again. The road rage kicks in. This is the life we're used to. But what if life could look like this? An oasis of green parks, endless sidewalks, and empty roads. Impossible? Well, it's actually the concept behind the 15-minute city. 15-minute city or the 15-minute neighborhood is certainly something that's become very much you can say in vogue recently. Paris is working towards it, so is Barcelona and Portland, and now Vancouver also has a plan in place. Big new move number one was that we build a city uh, where for all residents in the city, 90% of your daily needs are within a walking distance. When I put the closest grocery store in my GPS, it's more than a 30 minute walk away. But in a 50 minute city, I could walk to the grocery store, post office, doctor's appointment, gym, hair salon, dentist, you name it, all within, you guessed it, just 15 minutes. A solution not just for gridlock on the streets, but also for carbon emissions. In fact, the goals of creating a more walkable city were announced as part of Vancouver's recent Climate Emergency Action Plan. And the Vancouver Plan and Project team are already in the process of figuring out what neighborhoods should look like and how to translate that into land use strategies. Just look at your neighborhood and look at your walk score. The walk score actually just tells you how many good things you're a short walk from. Where we get really low walk scores are in the, in the parts of the city that are largely suburban. And so there's some sections where, you know, single family homes are really far uh, from a lot of retail. And uh, in those areas, the actual answer is to deliver more of those uh, um, commercial services to them. The plan and project team will be addressing council with options as early as July. And they'll also have some pilot project ideas. But for this plan to really work, you don't just need to change the city. To meet the, the environmental goals that um, the country, the province and the city have committed to repeatedly. Um, is to change behavior. So in Vancouver's latest climate emergency action plan, they announced new incentives to drive less, like connecting cycling and walking networks citywide in hopes that 80% of trips by 2030 will be made either by foot, bike, or transit. They also announced disincentives for driving, like implementing transportation pricing in the Metro Corps and creating a carbon pollution surcharge on residential parking permits. But all of this takes some time. Cities change slowly over time because you actually have to build them. The team says they're looking at how to move Vancouver towards this vision over the next 30 to 50 years.